on, Michael. Are you ready for some Wild West shenanigans? Are you ready? Are you ready to play a game that doesn't make you want to shoot yourself right in the head all day, every day? Is this a sequel to Once Upon a Time in Mexico? No, this I is a sequel to Desperados 1 and 2. Actually, I don't see Antonio Banderas anywhere, though. This is the prequel to Desperados 1 and 2. Really? Because I know stuff. Uh, welcome <laughs> back to the Dojo and Rage Select. I'm Jeff. I know uh, stuff. I'm Mike. Um, and I want to watch Desperado now. There you go. Uh, this is not that kind of Desperado. This is not that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so this Desperado is three. This came out last week and it got eclipsed by The Last of Us. Uh, I've been playing this game. I fucking love it. Uh, which should be obvious by the fact that I've completed about two thirds of the game. So yeah, and uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna go ahead and start at the beginning because I'm not deleting my save file for you guys. So that's uh, a fair point. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and hit this button. And it says "Once Upon a Time in Mexico." Yeah, I knew it. I knew it, says, I knew it. it says "Once Upon a Time," a few miles past the Mexican border. It counts. The ruins of an old village fringe the cliffs of Devil's King, and rumor has it that an infamous outlaw has his hat out here. A man only goes by the name of Frank, and he has wolf cola all over the place. Today, two riders approach from the desert, bounty hunters who made it their mission to bring Frank in dead or alive. Will they succeed where others failed, or will they end up as food for the vultures? I was starting to go a little pirate there. Yeah, it's like so you're getting, it's you're getting progressively either, more pirates. Either piratey or you're getting full on. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The the miners, prospector. Oh, you're getting full on. Oh, crusty old prospector. Yeah, oh yeah, no, I get prospector that. After a while. Yep, yep. Uh, so Michael, this is my favorite game. This I, I love this game so much. First off, I'm a big fan of westerns, and I don't feel there are enough of them. There's I know not. Red Dead, but like I'm talking like. Just fun, old-fashioned, having a good time westerns, you know? Not like dying of cholera <laughs> westerns. Because <laughs> well, we've gotten to that point where every western for it to get, like, a budget now has to be dark. Yes. Kind of thing. Like, even the True Grit remake is, like, kind of dark. Yep. <laughs> or not kind of dark. It is dark. They cut that poor woman's arm off. But then you watch, like, John Wayne's, and they made a sequel called Rooster Cockburn, which is a love story. <laughs> Uh, so this game is actually made by Mimimi, Me, Me, I believe is the developer. Gazuntai. Uh And they made uh, Shadow Tactics, uh, the Blades of the Shogun, I believe, which was very similar. The thing is that we, we get this question from time to time, like, you want to talk about genres that have gotten left behind? There used to be a lot of games like this, where it's like this top-down tactics strategy puzzle game. It used to be all their age. Yeah, um, Commandos was a big one. Desperados was a big one. Yeah. Um, so I've actually altered the way that the controls are set up here. By default, um, the the game would like move the camera, and then you would kind of move separate. But I've got the camera locked to the character here. So it's kind oh, of okay. like playing almost like Diablo, um, except that it plays absolutely nothing like Diablo. So... Um, yeah, these used to be mostly just PC games for the most part. Oh, shit. Okay. You got me to hide. Uh, pa, are you coming? Oh, shit. This guy. So... Is that like a tutorial message down there? Yeah, I don't know if I have to do these. Yeah, I don't like... There's the first card. Show me how the, their view view cones work. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm explaining it, video game. You don't got to write it on the <laughs> ground all Sam Fisher style and shit. Uh, I think I might have accidentally, though... The paw is supposed to be with me. I think he's still down here, fucking. Or oh no, he's hiding. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, he's up he's up somewhere. So we gotta like go around this guy. So you can check your objectives. Um, whiskey in there. Mm, I know it. Oh, okay. Wilma, let me in. The hell? The damn dog locked what? me out again. Why did he go? He didn't see me. Let's have a look around. I don't okay. know what happened there. <laughs> Let's have a look around. Indeed. Are you gonna look around? I hope you do. Uh. I mean, I could just like I was supposed to go up on top of that roof, drop down behind him, but fuck it, I'll just that works too. I'll just go. <laughs> I'm gonna use these just in case. So uh, one of the things about this game is that uh, oh, pause. when you uh, when you hit the select button, it just quick saves and it actually tears the quick saves and it loads pretty quick as well, which is good because this game is very trial and error. Very just like, hmm, what would happen if I question mark? Nope, that didn't work. Better start over. Uh, so this character he can throw coins to distract people. She could be like, "Wee!" So let the audience know he still has an Xbox One. So load times may vary. That's true. That's true. Oh shit! Oh, oh, shit! Blah 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 blah. Think slow. Got a really good arm throw. James Cooper. 
So I also I like how detailed it is when I zoom in. Like it still looks pretty good. Yeah. Um, like you can be all the way out here, but fucking who wants to do that? Um, I also like the fact that the game like <laughs> chides you for not saving. Um, like it, every oh, yeah, time you right, haven't yeah. saved for a minute, it brings up that thing. Uh, you can see the little like hashed marks are when you're you can crouch and they won't see you there because like their view is being obscured by oh, okay. something. So here's uh, this is the big thing is showdown mode. Um, so in showdown mode, you hit this button and time stops. Uh, and then what you can do is you can actually set. We don't really have anything to do right now, but what we can do is we can set this coin at this horse. And you see the little red uh, circle behind the horse? Oh, yeah. That means the horse will kick. Um, so we can actually do that. And then <laughs> we can either execute. What's that? I almost didn't see the circle. Yeah. I didn't see it the first time either. Um, so we can set that up. And then when it's time, we just hit a single button. We hit Y. And it's just like, boop, bap, clap, and uh, get her, Paul. Put a nickel in the horse, and it kicks things. Yep. Fake pennies, apparently, is Fake what pennies? those are. Yeah. Okay. Um, Don't want to waste your money. It's old-timey time. Yeah. James Cooper, is a, he's a dirty forger. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I like... Every time they bite into that penny, they're like, you sick bastard. <laughs> that's, why you, that's why you got to bite it. <laughs> this one tastes like chocolate. That's not right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So I'm, I'm going to let the quick save go, no um, and you'll see that like the longer you let it go, the more emphatic it's it hard. ends up getting. Like it, it goes from uh, green to yellow to red, and then like it gets more of a border around it. It's just like, hey, hey, fucking save over here, um, which I what appreciate. So, uh, let's see. Good job, that's my boy. It was easy. I don't remember the last western I watched. Uh, I watched Westworld. Does that count? I don't know. <laughs> it counts more. Uh, you remembered it at least, so maybe. I'm watching season two of Westworld, except they've they've started with the whole like uh, they went to Samurai World or whatever. So things are getting weird on Westworld season two. Um, so I'm gonna save. Uh, so yeah, you can also put down like a thing. Like you can put down a uh, uh, a view cone. You can like look at oh, somebody okay. specific. So I think that what we're trying to like sneak around, and um, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, we can need to uh, throw one of these. Also, just I'm a sucker for a stealth game, and uh, this game is real, 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 real stealth. I'll tell you, the last mission that I did, and and they really vary it up. The last mission that I did was all the main characters got drunk and they all woke up and nobody knew what the fuck happened last night and so you've literally got to like find all of the people that you were with and like none of them have their guns because they were all drinking last night oh, uh, it's pretty awesome I love stuff like that though so let's see I'm gonna do this is this what I'm Whoa, no 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 uh, there we go is that is that what I'm looking for Oh shit! Ooh, nope. Okay, so that and you just load and boom. Oh, okay. so nice. Uh, what am I? What am I supposed to do here? Fire, fire, went ahead to reach rooftops. Did that. I'll just try it. going a little slower here. Can I kill this guy? Well, I don't think you have anything to kill him with. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> don't do it that way. <coughs> All right. Um. I forget what he said to do. Wait, what is the objectives again? It says, uh, catch up your father, strike the guard, anger the horse, lower the rope ladder, reach the rooftop, sneak past the guards and up to the rooftops. You don't scare me. Wait, where's oh, there's, yeah. there he is. There he is. Near the cliff. Okay. Way to distract him with your coin. Then I can take them both out. Okay. Oh, okay. So he's I had to, I had to, to wait him. for him. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Wee! So there we go. We got a little, uh... A little trigger happy there. Yeah, without a trigger. <laughs> I, was, I was just trying to trying to get through the tutorial. Jump now. Hua. Bua. All right. Still breathing. Tie him up and quick before he comes to. All right. Don't move. All right. Um, but yeah, uh, this game has like. Good I mean, job. I think you can see it at the very beginning. <laughs> see you, buddy. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, like. What was the point of tying him up at that point? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know. Just want to make sure that he didn't get away on his way down. They didn't wriggle out and fucking use his, his like, mutant powers. <laughs> it's actually an X-Men game. I didn't tell you about that. That makes sense. So X-Men Legends 4? Yeah. 3 or whatever? Yep. See that crane up there? 
So now we're going to drop that crate full of shit on those guys. Uh, let's see. Is it manure? Uh, no, they sir. I hate manure. <laughs> I hate manure. Can I not? Why can I? I guess Back to the Future 3 would be the closest thing to the last Western I've <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. What's that noise? Because I watched that not too, too long ago. And then we're going to go across here. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to drop this on these guys. Blappo. Jesus Christ. Yep. The way it did it was pretty brutal, though. <laughs> like, oh, it yeah. slammed. Come to you. All right. And this is just a tutorial. Oh, jeez. And now it's over. Ten minutes! Good job. Yeah! Hooray. <laughs> I'm so tired of games that are going on for a million years. Is this... I assume he's just going to die. It's, it's, it has to. Flashbacks and such. You think so? Why can't I come with you? Because of that right there. When he says, why can't I come with you? That usually means that guy dies right afterwards. Yeah? You think so? Why can't I come with you, pal? <laughs> well, when I get back, we'll play catch and we'll hang out like we've always talked about. You know, I'm Go very on the boat sailing. super proud of you, son, for throwing that guy off the edge of that cliff. That's just what I've always been looking for to son. <laughs> He's like, all right, here, let me do this. Here, ah, Oh, shit. God damn it. We'll go back and we'll hang out with Ma all day, every day. Yeah, we'll eat cornbread and grits. And we'll be a family and get you a dog or whatever. All the grains. We'll have all the grains with some oatmeal. I promise when I get back, everything will be super happy. Yep. <laughs> You're ready for a gun. I'd love for that to actually be a line. <laughs> everything be super happy. I'm going to get some cigarettes. Oh, son of a bitch. I think I saw a great meme where it was um, it was Kevin Costner from Man of Steel, uh -huh. and it was the tornado about to get him, and it says the cigarettes he went out to go out and buy. <laughs> <laughs> me, 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 me. A weird-ass game company. It's an interesting game. Yeah. It's I'm like somebody had a stroke and just, <laughs> just typed it twice. Somebody was like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> All right. The Doctor and the Bride. So we'll it's now. Alive. What's that? I said it's alive. We're gonna alive. see. We're gonna see what we can do here. Is this uh, that Doctor Who spinoff? Well, Doctor that? and the Bride. Oh, sounds like an episode of of Doctor Who. Yeah. Um, I still haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah. I. Uh, eh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Every franchise goes to crap eventually. Every franchise gets crappy eventually. Michael, Dark Souls did it. Fucking. Metal Gear did it. Like everything gets get disappoints you eventually. So yeah, easier Avengers. if you just get used to it. Look for the new thing that looks cool. Like Desperados Three. <laughs> you should go out and buy it. I'm not even getting paid to chill it this hard. I just think this game is great. He was I was really excited when it came I out. I really, guys. really like it. Like it's super good. And you, you, I don't know if it's come across yet, but you'll see why. Because the thing is that we were just controlling one guy, but eventually you get to control up to like four or five people at the same time. So. That's where the things really. There you go. Big Ann. Big Ann got this, this train. They're, these guys are all just shooting this train. I don't know if there's anybody left on it. They're just like, fill the train full of holes, I guess. I don't know why, but just do it. That poor train. <laughs> this is that dark Thomas the Tank Engine episode no one talks about. <laughs> Thomas didn't know what Big Ann wanted. <laughs> <laughs> but he was pretty sure he wouldn't like it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. Somebody's shooting. Wee! I didn't think this through. <laughs> I'm out of here. They all have guns. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize they all were going to have guns. Oh. That guy got captured. Bang, 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 bang. Like, Westerns are such a great setting for video games, right? Yeah. Lawless, and there's guns. They're all, like, super hyper cartoony characters. And if you're not playing Red Dead, like, if you're playing, like, Gun, or, you know, like, Outlaws, or, uh, 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 what's that? Call of Juarez Gunslinger, oh, right? Yeah. Like, one of those, you know. Bring back one, Sunset Riders. Right. Sunset Riders. <laughs> not one where it's like, ah, <laughs> uh, Cowboys, it was horrible. It was a horrible time full of horrible men that were all horrible. How horrible was no it? No one drank water because water was evil. Yep. Back to the Future 3, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> Unforgiven really fucked us, Michael. That's it what really I'm saying. Did. What's the matter? Knife got your throat? 
Oh. I want to need that knife back, though. Yeah. Actually, that's fully that's full on a mechanic. Uh, is this is the kid? He's all grown up. He's got his duster and shit. Tells me you ain't here punching tickets. Uh, and he's got the knife that you could throw just like his paw, except that when you throw it, it sticks in the guy, and you've got to go pick it back up again, or else you can't throw it a second time. Does so. he like stab everybody who just opens doors? Yep. Well, he's guy, like there. That guy had a red bandana over the bottom half of his face, Michael. If yeah. that's not. If that's not a reason to kill somebody with a knife, then I don't know what is. I'm just imagining so. stabbing everyone that comes in. Housekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I thought it was a burglar. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let's we'll grab the... No, don't disconnect. Oh, God damn it. This thing was working fine. <laughs> there it goes. Uh, God damn it. His I Xbox need a new controller Xbox controller. controller. I really do. Like, it always works until I start recording Rage Select, and then it stops working. Is Wait, what, what, is doing? what is this one? Uh, no, this is one I've had for a while. Okay. Oh, yeah. One of the things you can do in this game uh, that you can't do in The Last of Us 2 is um, <laughs> you can actually switch your... At the top, you can switch between lethal and non-lethal. His portrait reminds me of the Australian guy from Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh, clever girl. So here, let's just... We'll knock this guy out. Um, so what's what's actually really fascinating is that every um, level in this game has like a subset of optional goals, uh -huh. but you cannot see them until you've at least beaten the level once. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah, uh, which is good because it gets a lot of replay. So here's throwing knife. We got a throwing knife. And we're gonna be fucking bamo. What's up now? Standing around there with your neck all exposed like a chumpo. What do those guys? What do they do? They just. You're just opening, they opening un boxes. They unleashed all of those uh, tomatoes or whatever. So Tomato killed my paw. One of the things that uh, uh, Cooper can do is he's like more nimble, so he can climb and jump. Um, everybody can jump down, but he can like climb up ivy and uh, shit oh, okay. like that. So, and then this is like um, we're gonna do uh, basically a. Uh, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna set up a knife throw, right, in our uh, tactics mode. But then you'll see that we can't like. We can't really do it until we get closer to this guy. Actually, no. What are you telling me to do? You're telling me to like. Oh, oh. It's, just give him my gun. If I could. All right. That's oh, okay. easier. Uh, so we could reset that plan, and this time we can just be like, kill that guy. Um, and then Fuck he's gonna. In particular. He's gonna shoot. But I think if I just like, oop. There you go. And your friend, too. I don't give a shit. So one of the things that Cooper can do that nobody else can do is um, you can actually mark two people at the same time. Oh. So he's got two guns. Everybody else has one gun. Um, in fact, I think that's what, you, yeah, that's what you have to do right here. God, I don't know why they made me. Oh, shit. So if you go into here, you can be like, boop, boop. And then you can be like, bam, bam. And then you're going to meet your first buddy, Doc. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, his coat is too brightly colored for him to not be. <laughs> I love the way they um, they color them. Uh, nope. Ah, the cheesiest move in the whole West. Yeah. <laughs> is that a giant, giant revolver? It's a, it's like a long-range gun. It's like a sniper rifle, basically. Is it that the revolver from Batman? He used yeah. to shoot, that shoot down the Batman. John Nicholson pulls out of his pants? Yes. Yep. Listen, Mr. Cooper. Cooper. I'm an Mr. FBI Cooper, agent. I've been hired to make sure <laughs> it's damn fine coffee. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you don't get in my way. Well, now, Mr. McCoy, doctor. Of course, his name is McCoy. <laughs> the lady's name is O'Hara. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the way I see it, there's only one way forward, and I got to get to Flagstone, too. So if you put him, Beast, uh -huh. and Bones in a room, yep. and you said Dr. McCoy, <laughs> that would be like, yes. They all turn around. Yeah. Like, damn it. I should have been more specific. The one that's more blue, and then the both of them say yes, and you're like, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> all three, actually, because Bones wears blue, too. <laughs> He's purple. Is he purple? Like yeah. Cooper's blue, and Doc is purple. Oh, okay. So... Is he the terror that flaps in the night? <laughs> no. Hector is orange, and uh, Mary is pink, pinky red. So what do they call over the Zord? I, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> there's actually, Steampunk Zord. <laughs> I've actually been like nine missions into the game, and there's still another character that I haven't seen yet. Oh, really? Yeah. 
uh, and I don't know. I think it's another lady. I don't know who it is yet. Uh, Got to find a giant mechanical spider. Yep. <laughs> Most dangerous animal in the. <laughs> the animal kingdom. Lo and behold, <laughs> a giant mechanical spider. Uh, so Doc is pretty great. He can heal himself, um, which. But the one other thing he can do is he can throw his medical bag, and people will see it, and they'll be like, "What the fuck." And then they come over to the medical bag. It probably has drugs. And they're like, oh, shit, what's this? And then they open it up, and it's like, wow, shit. And then you fucking Gas drugs. I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> the drugs tricked me. <laughs> uh, one of the things I, I, I really like about this game is that they leave the bodies, but if you put the bodies in uh, the weeds, you'll see they just, like, go down into the ground and go away. Oh, okay. Uh, but you can also see, you saw how slow he was at uh, moving a body. Yeah, it looked like it was humming. <laughs> so he yeah. dragged it. So That's how he gets his kicks. Like, Maco like uh, Cooper is pretty good. He's pretty fast at it. Um, and uh, McCoy and Scarlet are not very good. Uh, but Hector can carry up to two bodies at the same time. He's really good at uh, And uh, uh, they're bodies. great. Nice. Fuck you. Scratch but you start getting into situations, right, where you can set up like an ambush where you drop that bag and then somebody walks over and then like, you know, that guy throws his knife and uh, the Hector puts down his gigantic bear trap, which he has, which is pretty awesome. A literal man-sized bear trap. <laughs> uh, and so Doc's gun is uh, long range, so you can like... Christ. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that is a really far distance. The other thing that was interesting is you see that uh, you have a limited amount of uh, ammo. Uh, Custom rounds for that thing? Yep. He's got three out of five shots. So you can't just really shoot your way out of situations. And so, like, here, Doc can't climb, um, but Cooper can. So uh, Cooper can get up here and then, like, toss down that ladder. We'll figure something out. Speaking of Desperado, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, my brother shared a Facebook post uh, from, like, some sort of gun shop uh, where they sell a bunch of guitar cases full of guns. <laughs> Just pre- Pre-gunned, pre-gunned guitar. Yeah. Pre-loaded guitar cases. Yeah, they're guitar cases where you can buy custom loadouts <laughs> of guns. What? Why? For like three grand. Okay. They're called. I forgot what they're called. Uh, the Castle Defenders or something like that. Oh, like ca like Castle Defense. Yeah. Something oh my like God. That. And my brother the was Castle like, Doctrine. Tempting. <laughs> oh boy. I don't need a. I don't need anything full of guns, Michael. Like not a, not a guitar case. I I don't need a bag, a satchel, a briefcase, <laughs> uh, like a, a pair of tube socks with a revolver in them. I don't need any of that well, shit. That would be interesting. Yeah, it was so. it was interesting because like the stuff they would stuff in them. Like one of them was like a super straightforward one. It was like a Winchester and a, like a, a nine mil. Mm -hmm. And one of them was like a fucking sniper rifle looking <laughs> rifle. <laughs> and I was like, that's a large ass guitar case. <laughs> We'll wait for that lady to come back and get a twofer. Do, 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 do. There she is. They uh, do financing. <laughs> let's see. I, I think she, she'll she probably see the case. Let's they see could, they got a pretty decent. Yeah, there we go. Free drugs. So that's like you could just set up a, set up a murder. And uh, I'm just going to fucking do it now. I don't, I'm going to wait for her to go all the way over there. Knife to meet you. <laughs> Oh, the idea that Cooper has one pun. <laughs> That's all he's got. <laughs> so, like, here, here's the thing you can do is you can do, like, I'm going to throw this, right, uh, for distraction, and then I'm going to have uh, Cooper uh, throw a coin that will get the, this character to look in that direction, and then they'll see it. And then when they see it, they'll be like, ah, oh, what the fuck is that? Then they'll oh, go okay. over there, and then they'll fucking pick it up, except I'm going to throw a knife into the neck first. So, to do. Do 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 do. Pop. Someone's about to Which so you could see how it isn't especially like difficult at the moment, but you could see how this is gonna. I well, can see why it's fun though. It, it, it lives or dies based on its level design, and I'll tell you right now that the level design is great. Like they they take some characters away and they give you more stuff that you could do. Oh fuck. Okay, well that just fucking. Yeah, I was like, got just walked right in front of him. Well, it, it, if you can get there, bef if I could have gotten to the bushes before that thing filled up, then it would have... Uh, no, I get that. It's just it wasn't <laughs> far enough distance based on what happened there. <laughs> ah. uh, but I love how fast it loads. It's right? just us birds in here. Roadrunners and such. Have you ever seen a Roadrunner in real life? Hmm? 
They're interesting. Yep. A lot of people haven't. Yes, I have. They just have long legs. That's how they're fast, quote unquote. Trust me. Wow. So, um, first time I saw one, I chased it. This guy over here uh, is a poncho. Uh, ponchos add a new dynamic because ponchos won't move. I was about to say, how did you know his name? Because <laughs> that's the name of my uncle. Oh, yeah? Panchito, as we call him. Well, these guys all wear a poncho. His so actual name you... is Frank, but... <laughs> okay. Like the bad guy from this game? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe my, my uncle is his great descendant. I don't oh, know. man. Maybe I'm his great descendant, if that, if that uh, makes sense. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you didn't even know you had a nemesis. Uh, look out for Coopers. <laughs> so I'm going to do, do some really excessive Stop. planning here. Uh, okay, let's do uh, that, and then uh, that, and then uh, save. Always save. And then if we go like this, and then they both get killed. But yeah, it's uh, it's exceedingly fun. Like it's just, it's great just to sit down with these little. It's you know what it reminds me of is like a big zoomed out hitman, right? I can like see that, yeah. uh, just these like these little murder sandboxes. And the thing is that. Um, like the stuff in this game that you get the sub objectives for um, is like, so in this level, yeah, 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 I know. I just need you to do it. Is like, you see, uh, or no, those are bad guys, but throughout this map, like there are um, these, like people from the train, right? Oh, okay. So, like, one of the objectives on this map is to rescue all of the train people. Like, there's some over here, um, but then there's other objectives, like, don't ever fire your gun the whole level, you know. Um, Let's go about this quiet. So, so basically just as quiet as you can. You take the other. I wouldn't worry. Just uh, okay, wait, hold on. Uh, let's just... Let me take care of that. Leave their boss to me. Okay, so and then if we go like this, we can go boop. No here. And Still boop. And then, and then go like this, and they'll both go... Uh, cha -cha! And then they high five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, murder buddies. On the on the level that I just got done with, where they're all where they're all hung over, uh -huh. um, Doc is so drunk that he won't wake up, and you have to have one of the characters carry him out of the level like okay. this, like a body, like you literally carry him through like two thirds of the level because he won't wake up and he's too fucking wasted. You got a weekend and birdies him to get something too. It's the night level is so fun because. They don't know what happened last night, but there's all of this, like, debris and shit in the town. Oh, like, there's a <laughs> safe in the middle of the road with a cannon pointed at it. <laughs> and there's, like, a bunch of there's a bunch of cows on top of a building. And, like, none of them know what happened last night. It's like the fucking hangover. Uh, I love that. That's so great. Uh, so, Dude, where's my car? Yeah, exactly. I haven't seen that movie in ages. I wonder how that holds up. I don't think I've ever actually watched Dude, Where's My Car? It's a it's more weird of a, fucking movie. More of a Euro trip kind of guy. Oh, okay. Uh, do you not see that? I think it's because of the rocks in the way. Ah, farts. At least where he looked, I think. It was All right, fine. Way. I'll get you a different way. I'm going to go around here. Do, 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 do. And let's see. just randomly firing. He's like intimidating the passengers. Let's see here. Hmm. Um, this is a tricky one. It's all right. I got a few tricks in. That's what you get for riding on a Devitt Company train. Oh, the Devitt Company. I think it was uh, run by uh, fucking what's his name from uh, Red Dead that. Um, Dutch won't leave alone. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, that poor. <laughs> I mean, not like he's he's a bad guy, right? But they're just like, well, let's rob that fucking industrialist a fifth time, and it's like, what? He was a bit of a prick, but also like they just kept fucking with that guy. Yeah, like at a certain point, you got to be like, D Dutch, stop it. <laughs> he it really should have been a long time ago, to be honest, because he was just consistently fucking with him. Dutch was guy such a jackass. I have a plan. Yep. Sure does. Oh, shit. I don't know if he's going to be able to do this. Ooh, okay, that's good. <laughs> that was one of my fa favorite gifts to use for a while. I'm saying I have a goddamn plan. <laughs> Whenever somebody asks me something at work. I thought I, I think I saw one that was like the uh, the SpongeBob meme with the the, the messed up letters, right? Oh, oh yeah. shit. Fuck. Oh, God, I didn't even. Oh, you didn't even see that guy? <laughs> I didn't even see that guy. He called an alarm. Um... 
oldest. Oh shit! This is before I even did this. Uh, gotta save. Gotta save more often. Um, except that the SpongeBob was dressed up like Dutch, and it said, "I've got a plan," and that uh, that SpongeBob fought. Fuck! Fuck! Ship! Fuck! God damn it! Got two, two, oh, two ahead of myself. I've got a plan. Uh, Just fucking die already. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Why'd you look at him? Now everybody's got to die. All right? Like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oldest trick in the book. Oldest trick in the book. I do love that it has quick save, though, because without quick save, that would be very difficult to pull off. Well, why does he keep looking at it this I don't time? know. I, I think it's because last time, it's the last well, time. You, you actually walked up to him last Yeah, time, I walked up to him. It's making noise this time. I waited a second. He's. I, I got to wait for that poncho to do his round again. And then go over there and just stab him. Oh, he has uh, an actual poncho on. Yeah, I was, I was trying to tell you that. <laughs> I was too busy focusing on the whole Ponchito thing. <laughs> I was like, well, how did you know his name was Poncho? I'm like, it's because he's wearing a poncho. <laughs> his name isn't Poncho because this guy's name isn't like Gunman. <laughs> how do you not know that? Saul Gunman. Saul Gunman. <laughs> he's a dentist by trade. Yes, sir. Saul Gunman. All your gun tote needs. I don't say you better call be gunman. Oh shit! What they say? Oh. Okay, let's try this. Carry, 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 carry. Ooh, get him! Ah, there we go. All right. Uh, so how should we take out these two guys? Huh. I mean, I could probably just knife this one and then carry her back, like fucking that. Okay. Well. Yeah, I was about to go. You need to take out Poncho, too. Yeah, they all. They, like, you can technically get an alarm, but I always just am like, nah, that's all right. That's okay. Uh, oh, boy. Let's see. Because um, you probably put. Does the bag work on the Poncho? No, that's the whole point of Ponchos. They won't. They will not deviate. Like. Oh, okay. uh, they will not go look for the bag. They will not go toward distractions. All they do is what they're like supposed to do. Okay. Actually, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that if I just wait and then he's like here, then I can probably do this because his back will be turned. Or maybe not. What the fuck do I know? <laughs> I've only been playing this game for like 12 hours. Just trial and error. Trial and error. Well, you, we were better off waiting until he was over on that side. Yes. People can't see me pointing. Yes. Michael was indicating the smart thing to do, <laughs> and I was like, fucking plan Jeff! <laughs> Woo! So then we go boom, and then we go into carry. Ticked over here. Uh, but sometimes it's funny because I think the ponchos um, will. Um, I think that they're one of the ones who will, like, notice if somebody's gone and then look for them. So, like, that's weird. if you take out one of the people that they talk to in their little rounds, then they'll uh, they'll look for them. So it can fuck up all your plans. Um, and what's that guy doing over there? All right, can't go that way. So this just made this gigantic fire. Did you guys just burn everything on this train? Like, yeah, what, I don't really know what's going on here. You guys are bad. Bonfires. Bad robbers. They also have nice banter. Oops, well, I was going to read that. Oh, shit. There's a guy. Okay. Oh, yeah, see, this guy runs over there. Uh, there's two of them. So, oh, shit. <laughs> what happened? I loaded. I loaded <laughs> on, on accident back to where I was. <laughs> I was going to hit the save button. Instead, I hit the load button. This because is what would have happened. <laughs> this is one of the possibilities, but here's what really happened. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Throwing the knife was a red herring. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Everybody just fucking... God damn it! Just fucking everybody go. Nope. Don't don't even bother with that. Fucking, we're getting out of here. Uh. So I watched that new Perry Mason HBO show. <laughs> Why? It's good. It's really good actually. Okay. It's like it's just this old detective show. Whoa. In the 19, 1940s. Okay. Fifties, I think maybe. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like that. It's after World War Two. That's easy. Uh. It's got the talkies in it. <laughs> All right, it's really good, actually. Like legitimately, I I actually do recommend it. Perry Mason, that was like a, he was a there was a court guy, right? Not a it's not like a uh, Columbo, not like a detective or anything, right? Um, he was a. It's I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've watched the original Perry Mason. 
But uh, he's a private detective in this. Okay. Uh, oh, fuck you. <laughs> Just us birds. Don't you look at me. Just us armadillos. Fucking look at me. Oh, yeah, that guy's carrying boxes around. All right. So let me actually, actually save here. Uh, so it's good? Yeah. It's good? I really liked it so far. Okay. Really dark. That's what I'm. That's what I'm into these days. It's like it's utterly dark. Super dark stuff. Well, it's because it's it's on HBO. It's allowed to have nudity and child murder. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael, I mean, call me a call me an old fashioned <laughs> uh, conservative or whatever you want. Feel like uh, call me a, a Christian with moral values. But just because you can have child murder <laughs> doesn't mean that you must have child murder. That's true. Well, it's, uh, it's the premise of the actual like mystery or whatever. It's Child like a, murder. It's like it's like a yeah. It's like a kidnapping gone wrong. I, you know what? I I, I just I've been I, I I finished Last of Us two, and now I feel like I need to watch like cartoons. Like now is the Which time is that I need to like watch SpongeBob. Not SpongeBob. <laughs> maybe like Adventure Time uh, would be a way to go. Oh, okay. Like you know, come on, grab your friends. Uh, well, close enough is going to come out soon. I what's know. that? What's that? It's. Uh, Do you ever uh, watch the regular show? Nope. So regular show is um. Is I haven't a, seen like half of every. Well, ever. there's there's a show on Cartoon Network called Regular Show that was very much steeped in like 80s lore, or, like 80s jokes and stuff. It was uh, the bird and the raccoon. Yes. Yeah. The bird and I, I, I know of it. I just so, haven't watched but, it. Well, he made a new show. Or, okay. And that was supposed to be out on like TBS like a year ago. Oh. Like ages ago. Like, okay. It was announced at Comic Con like literally two years ago. Oh my and god, dude. Would you please just get a box and come back over here? I want to throw a knife into your face. No one had heard anything about it for a long time. And uh, no one was sure why it was. Because it was supposed to be on TBS. Um, rumor has it the reason it, it didn't come out is because it was supposed to be part of this animation block uh -huh. with the Louis C.K. show that they were coming out with. Okay. But we all know what happened there. <laughs> Is this? I wonder if I can do this. His uh, shots are quieter. Just what I had in mind. So here, let's uh, let's give that a shot. So and so then what happened? And so oh, they, okay, yeah, that works. Yeah, so they just it just didn't come out for a long time. And okay. so finally, one day they were like, "It's going to be on HBO Max." And it really, mu it really much is the regular show if they were allowed to curse and have sex jokes in it. Okay, and it's hysterical. All right. Because like they, there was um, oh, shit. Fuck. the get, first episode fuck, of it. Get leaked. down! Ooh, yeah, the there, yeah. The very first episode of it leaked mm -hmm. online, and I actually got to. I actually watched it. Oh, and it was a lot of fun. Because the premise of the premise of that episode was that um, his wife is the his wife is really stressed out, mm -hmm. um, and so he decides to do the shopping for her, and there's a ham shortage going on. Okay. Meanwhile, his friend owes a clown three thousand dollars. Because he bet that they couldn't make a balloon animal giraffe out of his penis, <laughs> and then the clown won. <laughs> so, okay. And so the whole the whole thing is just the two of them trying to get trying to evade these clowns, get the get this emergency ham that they want, and then and also his wife just getting high with their other friend to to calm down. Okay. And it was just really funny. And it goes around. It goes. It's only like eleven minutes because okay. that's that's the thing that oh, makes the show. The show's really good. Is that it's a quick in and out kind of thing, so it never overstays overstays its welcome with its premise. Right on. Um, uh, and so I'm really excited for whenever those come out. Uh, here we go. Okay. All right. Ready, Michael? I got a feeling about this. So you see the giant blue circle? Yeah. That's the audio from an unsilenced gun. But oh. there are three people over here, and I have decided to kill them all with one go. So we go go. Jesus, and they all fucking die. <laughs> hey, and I got a, a medal. So those are the optional medals that you can get for doing different things. That was cool. Uh, it's pretty cool, right? Uh, anyway, I think we should wrap this up. I think we should save the rest of this. Oh, I could have also just thrown this boulder on top of all three of them, and that oh. would have been another way to kill them. Also, the which, show's called Close Enough, which you can actually you can actually just re revert to. It tiers the mm -hmm. quick saves, so it gives you three quick saves. Uh, so you can always go back oh, okay. to the like. So here's the quick save before that last quick save that I did. Um, so here, in this case, we'll I just, just want to see what happens if you do. The, the yeah, we'll just do it the other way. Again, clue clue rules, and not the guy from Tron. Uh, <laughs> when did that guy go down there, though? So there he goes. So there he goes, and then he's gonna go. Hey guys, what's up? You guys want to get some beers after this train robbery? Oh shit, a rock! 
<laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. We'll come back tomorrow with more of Desperados 3 because this game is rad. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash Rage Select. Go there. Help us. Kick us the monies. And in return, we'll kick you the bonus videos. We are not going to play all of The Last of Us 2. Uh, thank you all for asking and for all of your encouragement. Um, but you can always watch uh, Grant and I play The Last of Us Part 1. So, you know, that, that that's a thing you could do. Um, <laughs> Is that a patron? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Grant and I played all the way through The Last of Us. So right. we also played all the way through Asura's Wrath and A Link to the Past. So oh, okay. enjoy. <laughs> Question mark? Um, <laughs> if you ever want to see Grant Davis play Asura's Wrath or react to Asura's Wrath, I should say, I got you covered. I got, I got no, yeah. I, I got it. Um, uh, yeah. We also have some Amazon links down below uh, that you can use to buy things off of Amazon. Oh, that's a bad one. Okay. That was close. Um, <laughs> That you can use to buy things off of Amazon. Uh, if you do so, we get money. I don't know why, um, but we do. So there you go. Do Affiliates. it. Affiliates. Yeah. I don't. I, uh, yeah. I don't. Still don't really understand exactly why, but sure. Sure. Um, oh. Okay. I was about to murder that guy. There's another guy right over there. Um, <laughs> if I can kill this guy. Get on us. Uh, Michael, where can people find you when you're not over here at Rage? Oh, Slides? you can find me on oneofus.net. Uh, my oh, review oh. for Crossing Swords oh. came out. Oh, oh. Um, don't watch that? Crossing Swords. Don't watch Crossing Swords. Okay. <laughs> that shit was awful. Good review. Good review. Um, That's really right. the short end of it. <laughs> Join us back tomorrow for another Root Toot Good Time Dust Pro 3. We'll see you then. You go.